Welcome to Electron Line. Let's talk a little bit more about the magnitude of the moment. So here we have a bolt. It can rotate about its central point. We have a, a wrench that's trying to tighten the bolt. And you can see that we're applying a force either at this location, at this location, or at that location. And we want to know what the magnitude of the moment would be in each case. Also notice that this is here the, the position vector, which indicates the moment arm, the distance from the point of rotation to the line of action of the force. Notice that we have a position vector for the force being applied there, a position vector for the force being applied there, and a position vector for the force being applied there. And notice that the magnitude of R2, that this distance is twice this distance, and this distance is three times this distance, as is indicated over there. So what is the magnitude of the moment in each case? Well, notice the definition for the moment, that it's equal to the vector product of the position vector times the force applied. And of course, that is equal to the magnitude of the position vector times the magnitude of the, or I should say the magnitude of the, of the moment is equal to the magnitude of the position vector times the magnitude of the force times the sine of the angle between them. So maybe I can write that here, that the magnitude of the moment will be equal to the magnitude of the position vector times the magnitude of the force vector times the sine of the angle between them. And in this case, in all cases, the angle in our examples here are 90 degrees, and since the sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1, we can just go ahead and leave it off. But notice that the magnitude of the moment in the case that we apply the force there is simply equal to R1 times F, is simply the magnitude of the vector times the magnitude of the force. And in the case of when we apply the force there, since it's applied at a distance twice as far away from the point of rotation, it turns out the magnitude of the moment is twice as large. In the case of applying the force there, the distance here is three times as much, so therefore the magnitude of the moment will be three times as much. So the magnitude of the moment is simply proportional to the distance of how far away we apply the force relative to the point of rotation. Notice that little symbol here, the little subnaut symbol, indicates the point of rotation, which we indicated right there. Okay, now we also want to talk about how does the moment change, or the magnitude of the moment change, when we apply a greater and greater force at the very same location. Notice in these examples, the moment arm does not change. The distance from the point of rotation to the line of action of force does not change. Also assume that the angle in each case is 90 degrees. But what does change is the magnitude of the force. You can see that the force is twice as large here and the force there is three times as large as it's applied there. So if the moment arm doesn't change the distance from the point of rotation to the line of action of the force, how does the magnitude of the moment change? Well, it's also proportional to the magnitude of the force. If the force is doubled, like in this case, we have twice the moment. If the force is tripled, we have three times the moment. So if you apply a force that's three times as large and it's three times as far away, then of course the moment would be nine times as large. It would be three times as large because the force is three times as large like we have over there, it would be three times as large because the distance is three times as large. So you can see if you want to increase the moment, you simply increase the distance and or increase the magnitude of the force and proportionally the magnitude of the moment will change as well. And that's how we look at it.